uh, not cakes, Penguin's anger as a player, right? How, like, if, if once he gets annoyed at you, that's when you can expect the Massacre and ready to go with the parry off of the cloud. Exactly what you're talking about, Steven. This willingness to look at that option and be ready to respond with it in kind. But we say all that. Cheesy is caught off stage for a solid 45%, uh, 65%. And I also want to shout out that four to right tag that Cheesy Potato is rocking, right? Oh, absolutely. Friends, till the end, they are respecting each other as co-pilots. Always, always, <laughs> always. Yeah, and so... The tech because of the platform moved in time! Yep. <laughs> <laughs> She's ready. She's, She's always, always ready. ready. And uh, Penguin, though, with the cloud placement and hanging on to that cloud placement for a very long time, waits for the opportune moment to get the cloud pop into the forward air, finds the first stock, and uh, yeah, this is... Something that you'll see quite often, the Cloud Pop into forward air, especially against these heavier characters. We saw it against the Hodan. We didn't see it as much uh, <laughs> with success against the lighter character in the Absa Ditto. But yeah, as these heavier, bigger bodies, Cloud Pop into uh, Sweet Spot Kicks is just a devastating tool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the sliding, moving platform, uh, bringing the hitbox from the Crag down strong into Absa. Uh, just finding the first stock for Cheesy Potato, but down a full stock. Uh, and Penguin looking to be in a little bit of a driver's seat here. Yeah, w starting off with two great edge guards. We're seeing little bits of tricks from Cheesy Potato in order to keep the upper end, but once again, another crucial parry against Penguin. And I think this is just so important to establish yourself as a player. It's like, you can't just do your standard bread and butters against me. I recognize what your normal game plan is. You need to start improvising now. And how quickly can you come up with tricks to deal with what I've got? Yeah, and another parry right there coming out. I feel like... From every player we've seen on the stage the last couple days, Cheesy Potato is the most ready and willing to go for parries in these situations. She recognizes timings and situations where players want to do things. And, you know, parry in this game is a high risk, high reward. And the amount, the percentage that she has been succeeding with those parries has been just the thing driving her to this position as we are now a even last stock situation. Oh, doesn't get the DI angle to take off the rock and this gives Penguin the chance to get down there and Penguin not getting the quick attack going all the way down and this is going to give Cheesy a potential reversal to turn it around. Beautiful DI on that down arm to at least deny the up air, but that Penguin is still prepared with the cloud in just the right spot for that cloud kick, yeah. Yeah, so we saw Penguin use the cloud pop in the forward air. We saw Penguin just get a raw back here while the cloud was threatened and that time we saw the cloud in the air and instead of going for the pop goes for the gigantic hitbox that happens whenever you get a cloud kick and uh, catches Cheesy all, almost off guard because that, that hitbox can be quite large if you're not ready for it. And we have Rock Wall now as the counter pick. I was just talking earlier about what a good stage this tends to be for Penguin. But we do know that Cheesy Potato has been catching on to so many of these cloud tosses. This is not something that Penguin gets to do for free. And especially with Crag being such a hard hitter, you can't give Crag these free, almost free neutral wins. Right. Yeah, and oh, here we are on the first stock. Uh, Penguin off stage with 119% <laughs> and the amazing DI recognizing that even though that Penguin was getting hit by the cloud or by, by the rock falling, the down tilt was coming. And a DI in on down tilt is a guaranteed forward air. Gets it. Oh, doesn't get the tech. Missed. And no tech again. This is what a kind of difference between these two players in terms of uh, Cheesy being ready to react in so many different situations. I'm wondering if Penguin uh, pressed tech early on the first one and missed it and was in tech lockout for the second hit. Oh, you know, that actually does happen. Yeah, and I've heard that uh, that is actually an aspect of the uh, play that Cheesy is aware of. It also comes into play with uh, whiff parries as well. Yeah, whiff parries uh, and wall pillars. If you uh, whiff a parry on the wall, uh, then you can get bounced into the wall. Gets the charge on the tech in place. Cheesy on the verge of getting two stocks on Penguin to start out game two? Yeah, this is a very different game than game one. Cheesy the made the comeback and barely lost that first game. But now, riding the momentum into the second game here, Cheesy, instead of going for a parry, opts to attack, be the aggressor during the cloud animation that we talked yeah. about, Soul Rifle, to, uh, you know. G getting the double jump cloud parry, but here we got the triple lightning kicks coming out from Penguin and evening the stocks 1-1 one, one apiece. But to start off with that invincibility, we have another driving force, <laughs> almost three kicks for three. But... Penguin manages to escape just in time. This is still such a great lead for Cheesy Potato, and we so, so much. <gasps> Dash attack rock. does 11% per double hit, and ah. you cannot tech when you have a rock pushing Cheesy Potato off stage and setting up that situation where Cheesy had to now ditch the rock and kind of panic and put that pillar in a spot you do not want to have pillar at. Yeah. That is a no-no zone. Yeah. And Penguin said, 
Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> I can hit a target. Oh, yes. Yeah, that is a spot where you are dead if you are pillared there and your opponent's ready. And after three dash attacks, uh, four dash attacks even, Penguin was very ready to deal with it. We're going right back, though, to Rockwall. Cheesy's saying the, the stage was not the problem. It was just how, you know, those last it's, couple stocks shook up. It's uh, not the stage, it's the pilot. It, it's always <laughs> about the pilot. It is always about the pilot. And Cheesy Potato did end up losing his stock pretty early there to a triple kick off the side, Ooh. which is a product of Rockwall, but the second stock was more of a product of getting caught with a rock. Oh, Penguin was ready to punish the tech off of that bomb! Very clean start for Penguin, only at 16%. This is starting to look like Penguin has finally figured out what to do against Cheesy, at least a little bit, but these parries still keep coming out at so many points of his game plan. Just barely sailing <laughs> above that forward air. You saw that cloud off, just the movement he needed. Yeah, uh, uh, Cheesy Potato going for another raw up strong, that time with no rock to defender, and uh, that's going to be a landing fair parry into a kill. 89% before uh, before the death. That is one thing in this matchup, is if you get Cheesy Potato in a spot where she is comfortable go throwing out those up strongs with lo low punishment, uh, you're going to die really early every time you get caught. Mm -hmm. Ooh, almost gets the punish on that wave dash in. Uh, ro uh, air dodge in, rather. This is every time that Cheesy gets a hit, I just keep thinking, like, that's half of Abs's lifespan. Yeah. Like, God in these hits, this is so scary. That's down a galaxy. DI in on down tilt. I talked about it in the previous game. This time, it happened, and Cheesy kills at, what was that, 80%? Yeah, before the hit. And another parry. It just looks like Penguin is expecting his pressure, his movement, but it's too much for Cheesy to handle. But Cheesy is able to stick with it and get herself one game on the board. And I want to point out something very important that happened at the start of that parry punish. Cheesy Potato had a rock on the top right pillar. And on the parry punish, Cheesy then goes dash backs and comes in with the dash attack to push Penguin to the other side of the stage away from the rock. Beautiful. And that gets the kill. And like that is just the awareness of a player of Crag that she has and is able to get so much success being able to take a game off of Penguin. Still an incredible achievement considering Penguin's uh, knowledge in this matchup. But going to Treetop now as the stage ready to attack that. But it's so different here. This is such a smaller stage, so much harder for Cheesy Potato maybe to get the space that she wants to set up her rock. And right now, Penguin is using that to suffocate her out for the first stop. Yeah, that's one thing that can be so da- Oh my goodness, okay. Take a deep breath there because a second up air would have killed. <laughs> but it can be so dangerous as you're recovering against Absa. You DI in on a forward tilt and you get killed. You DI out on a down tilt and you die off the side. Mm -hmm. And it's almost one of those 50 50s that we see Penguin go for quite often. We saw it right there. A DI out on down tilt would have been a crazy uh, edge guard situation. Oh my we goodness. Have another yet parry. Another parry on that cloud toss. Penguin has not been able to get away with his favorite recovery option much at all in this set. Yeah. An attempt to parry, good adjustment by Penguin, this time overshooting, but Cheesy Potato repositions and gets a little bit extra damage anyway. And once again, going for the dash back before dash attacking in. Uh, Craig obviously hitting a dash attack can cancel into jabs or tilts. And so using the momentum from a dash attack, you don't want to overshoot your opponent. That's why you'll see those dash backs happen quite often, not only because of the rock on the right side, but because you want that momentum. Yeah, but now we have Cheesy Potato once again on her last stock, but evens it up. And some one -one rare DI out on a couple different forward airs from Penguin here, the end of the last game, and that second stock to even this game up, DIing out and dying, uh, you know, not to a galaxy. It was not a purple screen. And yeah, yeah Penguin uh, getting a little nervous here, maybe. I, I got to point out that in the middle of that forward air string up to that top platform, Penguin made sure to make time to break that rock once again. I think Penguin is starting to prioritize dealing with that more and more as the set is going on. And I think that's a fantastic idea, oh, but once again, another parry. Strong. But this is such a taller ceiling, which is going to help out Penguin. I think that's part of the motivation here, is because Rockwall had a shorter ceiling. Penguin was dying off the top to these parries that Cheesy keeps finding. Yeah, for the most part, Cheesy... Oh, up air? Oh, no. For the most part, Cheesy has been killing with up airs or up strongs, with yes. the occasional bad DI on forward air, obviously. We have the harassment. Good to get it. the lightning kick during the startup of that side special. Going to deny the super armor and close out the set. Penguin keeping it together just enough to make it across the finish line. But what an incredible showing from Cheesy Potato from game to game. Right. This is, you, you were saying earlier that you expect to see a lot more of Cheesy Potato as the season goes on. And I think we can expect to see her continuously push her placings at this rate. I completely agree. I expected a game five from that set. We almost got it. Cheesy Potato 
first time on the Sunday stages, it can be nerve-wracking. And to put out the performance that she did is nothing short of impressive and phenomenal. Mm -hmm. We have ourselves, yeah, th this is that forward air, I believe, that you, oh yeah, that was the solid down air to up air. It looks like just Cheesy was not prepared, and right afterwards, breaking that rock on stock change to try to deny having it up. So we have, oh, catching okay. the cloud pop, trying to intercept Cheesy on the so way up. So that's where that DI came in. Yes. Uh, going for that cloud pop, uh, Penguin was likely trying to drift backwards afterwards, yeah. which gets caught by the forward air, and then that ends that stock. And yeah, right there, um, that's an interesting spot because with that sour forward air into sweet spot forward air, the, if you DI in, you're getting sweet spot forward air. That's just going to happen, right? Mm -hmm. uh, but at that percent, you need to DI out even if you get hit by the sweet spot because a sweet spot is going to galaxy no matter what. And it's so like nerve-wracking because your first instinct is, I have to DI in to not die from a sweet spot, which, I mean, you get soured, you get sweet spotted. And so it's like... You need to get rid of that fear, right? Yeah. The, you have to recognize that that death is inevitable. If that's yeah. the timeline you're in, that's it. There's and nothing you can change, but you can make yourself live in the sour hit yeah, situation. Exactly. So you just hold out and hope you get sour. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is such a clean mentality that you need to have. It's just like understanding some 